Have you ever opened LatencyMon and seen WDF01000.sys or WDF kernel drivers spiking your DPC latency? You optimize your GPU, CPU, RAM, and yet stutter lingers. The secret culprit? Windows Driver Framework. This hidden subsystem manages drivers in the background. USB, sensors, controllers, even power management. But here's the kicker. On many systems, it eats CPU cycles unnecessarily, causing stutters and delays you'd never blame on drivers. Today, I'll show you how to safely tune WDF, clean up its background activity, and finally reclaim smooth performance in games. Before step one, safety. Make a system restore point. System properties protection. Update your chipset and USB drivers from Intel or AMD official sites. If you use lots of USB peripherals, VR headsets, hubs, capture cards, don't worry. These tweaks only stop background polling, not device functionality. Step 1. Identify WDF CPU usage. Before jumping into the fix, it's a good idea to first confirm that this is the issue you're dealing with. Start by downloading and running LatencyMon, a tool that can help pinpoint problems like this. Next, play a game or run a stress test on your system for a bit. While that's happening, keep an eye on the tool. If you spot WDEF01100.sys or kernel mode driver framework showing up with high ISR DPC execution time, it's a sign that you're affected by the issue. This means that your system is wasting valuable CPU cycles on unnecessary polling by the driver framework, and that's what's likely causing the performance problems. Step 2. Disable unused WDF services. Windows automatically runs both the kernel mode driver framework runtime and user mode driver framework service in the background, even if you aren't actively using them. These services can be a source of unnecessary CPU usage, especially when they're not needed for any active devices or tasks. To stop these services from running unnecessarily, follow these steps. First, open the Services window by pressing Win plus R on your keyboard, then type services.msc. This will open the Services Management Console, where you can control all background processes. Now, scroll through the list and locate the following services. Windows Driver Foundation, User Mode Driver Framework, Windows Driver Foundation, Kernel Mode Driver Framework, if it appears in your list. For each of these, double-click to open their properties, then look for the Startup Type setting. Change it from Automatic to Manual. By setting them to Manual, you prevent Windows from loading these services unnecessarily during startup, which can help reduce overall system load. Even with this change, don't worry, Windows will still start these services on demand whenever a device requires them. This simple adjustment ensures that your system isn't wasting resources on services you don't need, improving both performance and responsiveness. Step 3. Registry Tweak for Idle WDF Polling By default, the Kernel Mode Driver Framework, WDF, keeps devices in a check loop even when they're idle. This constant polling, while necessary for some tasks, can result in unnecessary CPU overhead when the devices aren't actively being used. Fortunately, we can tweak this behavior to reduce that strain. To make this adjustment, you'll need to modify the Windows registry. Here's the registry path you'll need to navigate to. Once you're in the right spot, you'll need to create a new entry. Right-click within the window and select New, DWORD 32-bit value. Name the new value Idle Polling Timeout. Next, set the value to 1 in decimal. This setting tells the WDF to stop aggressively polling idle devices, which will reduce unnecessary CPU usage. 
This way, the driver framework won't waste cycles checking on devices that aren't in use, but it won't affect the normal functionality of your drivers. After making the change, be sure to reboot your system for the tweak to take effect. Step 4. CMD Cleanup of Power Managed Drivers Some of the WDF activity you're experiencing can be linked to power managed drivers, particularly with USB selective suspend and devices that are set to wake your computer unnecessarily. These drivers might be waking up the system or keeping devices in a power state that triggers extra WDF polling. To clean this up, you can use a couple of simple CMD commands, run as administrator, to disable hibernation and identify devices that are allowed to wake your PC. Here are the commands you'll need. Power CFG space dash H space off. This command disables hibernation on your system. Hibernation is often linked to hidden power transitions that can contribute to unnecessary WDF activity. Turning it off will remove these transitions and help reduce system overhead. Power CFG space device query space wake armed. This command lists all the devices that are allowed to wake your computer. These are typically devices like your USB peripherals, keyboard, or mouse. Identifying them allows you to control which devices can trigger power events. Now that you've identified the devices, you can go through them and prevent unnecessary devices from waking your system, which will stop WDF from checking them constantly. Here's how to do that. Open Device Manager. Expand the categories for human interface devices and universal serial bus controllers. For each device that doesn't need to wake your computer, like certain USB devices, keyboards, or mice, right-click and select Properties. Go to the Power Management tab. Uncheck the box that says Allow this device to wake your computer. This will prevent WDF from constantly checking these devices for wake events, further reducing unnecessary CPU usage. Step 5. Verify and optimize timer resolution. After making the previous tweaks, it's important to confirm that WDF isn't still eating up unnecessary CPU cycles. This step will help you verify whether the changes have worked and, if necessary, provide a small stability boost to further optimize your system. To start, open CMD as administrator and run the following command. This command logs kernel driver execution and provides an in-depth look at how system processes are interacting with each other. If you don't have the Windows ADK Assessment and Deployment Kit installed, you can skip this step and continue using LatencyMon for monitoring instead. It should still give you the necessary insights. Go ahead and open LatencyMon again to check the results. If the optimizations work, you should see a significant drop in the ISR slash DPC times for WDF 01000.S. This means that WDF is no longer consuming excessive CPU cycles and your system performance should be better overall. And that's it. You've just tamed one of Windows' most overlooked performance killers, WDF kernel drivers quietly stealing CPU cycles in the background. By disabling unused WDF services, applying registry fixes, cleaning up device wake events, and stabilizing timers, you've cut off a huge source of hidden latency. If you notice WDF 10000.sy spiking before, check again in LatencyMon now. You should see a big improvement. Smash that like if this helped. Drop your before after latency mon results in the comments and subscribe for more deep dive fixes like this. Because sometimes the problem isn't your GPU or CPU, it's the frameworks in between.